F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. How you doing, F double R fans? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews with friend request friends to watch. The Sopranos, Season 6, Episode 15, Title, Remember When. <clears throat> oh, man. You remember when we thought Tony was getting better from therapy? Huh? <laughs> remember when we thought Chris was going to leave the drugs alone? And it's possible that he has, but you never know, man. This man is always flippy floppy. So, you know, I remember the, the good times when it comes mm -hmm. to Sopranos. And I'm not really looking forward to what's coming next because it seems like, you know, stage five is coming for everybody. Mm. But mm. I'm excited to see where we go from here. Obviously, last episode was a was a was a bummer, man. Uh, R.I.P. Johnny definitely was a, a goat in the show. And, you know, it was sad to see him go. But um, I'm, I'm ready for for what's next. How about you, Formal? How you feel going into this next episode? I feel good, man. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for what's next too. Obviously, things are gonna, you know, things are gonna have to take their dark little turns here and there as we close up this series. But it's been great. Um, and I like the title for this. Remember when? It sounds like we're gonna take a trip down memory lane. So you know, we always get like those cruise control episodes uh, each season. This I think this one right here might be ours. So let's get it. I'm ready. All right, man, listen, we're not going to hold you here any longer. We're just going to dive right into this episode. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe, okay? The goal is 10K. Only way we're going to get there, though, is you click that button, also click that bell, so you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go. How you doing? How y'all doing? Got yourself going. Here we go. That's how it was. I don't feel like. I felt good, though. I felt good. I was alive. You feel like These shit, niggas. don't you? I don't think they changed them, that betting this whole fucking show, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like 10 years now that I think about it. Oh. Man, same go Maybe they just rebuying the same shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. What you doing here, Bali? I Look, know, right? you got With it. the Goomba stroll too. You seen that? That whole body just perfectly proportioned under his neck, like. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing, the pressure is shot. Can you live with regular instead of espresso? Never mind, sweetie. Thanks anyway. Sorry for the ambush. I brung up your paper. <laughs> he said he don't want to go out to get it anymore. Anyway, he gonna have Paulie come every morning. Shit. Just for the news. Hey, feds are doing some digging over by Brantford Avenue. Willie Overall, the bookie, Labor Day 1982. Mm. Oh, they about to find a body. That's what it's looking like. Bookie. Hmm. Come on, kids, do it. Hmm. Hmm. Remember That's when, it? huh? 25 years, T. Possible there's nothing left. There'll be bones, teeth. How's that shit work, though? Is There ain't no statute of limitations on murders. 25 years, a long time ago, nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, Paulie really getting old. That nigga got the he got same shoe 10 different times, nigga. Simple. No laces, hey. slip right on. Yeah. You make sure you wear your sunblock. It's not a little gambling charge, that's all. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's just, you know, bad. Gambling charge, huh? This is what life is still like at our age. You seem good, Junior, I gotta say. The fuck does that mean? I'm fucking incarcerated for Christ's sake. <laughs> you gotta get me out of here. The smell alone on this fucking place. <laughs> what do you hear from my nephew? I'm still waiting for an apology. Tell him. That nigga is. What? Which one of you is going to tell him? None of them. We'll figure it out, Junior. 
He still don't believe it. See, Junior, a real player, bro. Don't let him take my plate, kid. Ain't that? He was in that one movie. Yeah, I seen him before as well. I can't pinpoint what though. Make sure there's enough so everybody can buy in. Ah, uh, <laughs> he's, he's hosting he's the, the car game. Ring. Sixty dollars. Fucking stick up on us! I already gave you my watch. Don't count my money, nigga. Mm. Making five hundred percent of these motherfuckers. Mm. You good to lights out? <laughs> Uh, you have it, that nigga June still a player. All right, no limit. Five cards stud. The white buttons are five bucks. The red buttons are ten. Red buttons. What'd you say? <laughs> Fuck was I just saying? The soda, Junior. What soda? Oh man. Right, the Coke. Uh, I'll take some sprees. <laughs> okay, any already making money. <laughs> that Who shit crazy. figured this, this was nigga. happening with June? Brad, this nigga June different, bro. He still want to live the life without living the life, I guess. Nah, that nigga forever in the life, Brad. He been playing us all. Remember driving around with that prick in the trunk looking for a spot? <laughs> <laughs> That's cold <laughs> laughing about that shit. <laughs> you mentioned Ralph before. Mm. A few years ago, we had that beef with Johnny Sack. He made a crack about Ginny. You fucking oh, hole in her ass or some mm, shit. That's crazy yeah. bringing this to the... Who the fuck would tell Johnny about that joke? How should I know? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> that that really brought that shit up. <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't think we'd ever hear He about always it. thought it was Paulie, though. Flush. Mm. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, you don't. Your hand. He the only competent. He's got Alzheimer's. Help him, for Christ's sake. Barry Jacks. They just robbing these niggas for their SSI and shit. Wow, he won. <clears throat> he don't even know it. <laughs> I'm not here to gamble. I'm here looking for Keith. Keith's busy. Take a hike. We, we had a chess match, Keith. The pride of Rutgers. <laughs> At least some of us know when we need help. Mm. Get the fuck out of here, you <laughs> Bro, they said Buscemi a funny looking guy. That nigga right there was a funny looking guy. He kind of funny look. That nigga look like some men in black type shit. What's going oh, on, guys? Shit. Oh, shit. What happened it's to the gambling, Warren? Relax, bro. This nigga. What do we say about this? Well, it's a friendly game. Oh, they called him before? Corrado, it's too stressful. Look at him. He's not even playing. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, not even playing. And he yeah. having a melt. They, they, they threw the napkin over his chips. These niggas still real, bro. I brought you your tea. <laughs> <laughs> he living the life. Man, that's what I'm Yo, saying. This shit. This shit better than. Nigga got all his gumdrop buttons and shit over there. This shit better than living with Bobby. Take it. You earned it. Look at this. Like the motherfucking Indians. Warren said I should get my buttons back. Uh, on account of we weren't really supposed to be gambling. Tell Warren he can fuck himself. <laughs> Got a problem with that? Tell him to come see me. Mm. Can I get a uh, Kit Kat at least? <laughs> Five <laughs> buttons, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Nah, I don't know. You was talking all that shit about he ain't a boss. He's I not. Those days. He's not. <laughs> Look I at him. Those days, He's nigga. fucking peddling buttons. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Mm. Mm. I see why you're here. Okay. All right. You remember that place, uh, it's in Culpeper, Virginia. The Haven Air. Ah. Mm. <laughs> That's where we stopping. We met those 16 year old hillbilly who was near the taxi stand. <laughs> While y'all were also 16? Me? 
Okay. Was I the only one that heard that? Crinder? Excuse me. This place is a no. I think maybe, I don't know. D <laughs> there was a motel on this spot though, right? The Haven Air? I don't know. <laughs> it's my first week, nigga. <laughs> Your dad, boy. Him and me made this trip a thousand times back in the 60s. We had a piece of that dog track, right? Among other things. You know, I remember you around that time. When I was bad, my dad used to threaten me he was gonna get Uncle Paulie to come get me. <laughs> Fucking Jenny boy, eh? He loved you, my friend. I remember the night you were born. Only time I ever saw him cry. Mm. <laughs> Wow. I tell the guy, I said, listen, I don't mind paying for the tailpipe, but that fucking muffler's still under warranty. Oh, <laughs> oh, said, Yes. Yeah. Nigga, just be. Nice talking to you. Random you people, like. Enjoy Miami. <laughs> Damn, he told that nigga where it was going? What the fuck is wrong with you? What? You tell some fucking gooby your life story? You're supposed to be laying low. Facts. Look. He didn't even deny it. He realized, like, damn, I for sure did, huh? My old ass. He started to get talkative. <clears throat> damn. That's what I'm talking about. Stack up, nigga. Matter of fact, just put that napkin down and just yeah, grab for the basket. Real. Just grab the whole <laughs> like, thing. You might as well. That nigga. Okay. Uh, Ma. How was church? It's fine. It's good. Do you remember Mr. Soprano? Corrado, please. Hello, my dear. This is, I'll leave you two to visit. I have some letters to answer. Uh, this is so awkward. Facts. I have this new medication they put me on. Makes me salivate. Mm. He be playing the game, bruh. I can never tell when he on or off. He play. That man really gone. That nigga be... Like, he no. is gone, but when he be on, he be on. That's the thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just his mentality hasn't changed. Like his guy, you know, the, the boss of him. Dr. Mendel says you've been acting aggressively toward other patients. First of all, that is total fucking bullshit. And Con. secondly, why don't you just lead off with that? <laughs> what? That is what he she let off with. Dr. Mendel feels you're modeling your actions on the wrong people. Really? Mm. Like who? Corrado. You know who? My whole time at MIT, you told me, get out and make friends. Now I finally do learn to assert myself a little. Suddenly, that's a negative. <sighs> she got well, this young boy admitted, like. <laughs> money having money ain't an issue for that boy. You're talking about MIT and Wall Street. It's not good. Feds found a body. Skeleton. Mm. They tentatively ID it as a guy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, try and relax, huh? How's Paulie holding up? George, I'm holding up fine. You want to shut the fuck up? Two facts. That's too bad. That's all right, Joey. Use your hat. <laughs> Paulie, really taking this as a vacation time? <laughs> nah, fuck. Them need to go out the country with this shit. As you, I'd lay up the card games a while. What the fuck's the matter? The professor snitched you out to Doctor Mandel. They're gonna have to deal with the professor, nigga. What do you do with those, Jamil? Autograph pictures of the man who kept Tony Soprano? <laughs> Jeez, them motherfuckers go right on eBay. Come on, now sign. That was our deal. You want to keep getting them sodas? Mm hmm. Say, so, yeah, nigga. You want them sodas, huh? You want your Kit Kats? For you. Hey! Oh, wow. Hey, the G or two. <clears throat> the merch. Where's the DVD? That never occurred to me. He said that shit went straight to DVD. <laughs> You're not going to believe what I found when we were moving into the new house. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Remember when? Mickey Pinto took that in 1963. Look at that hair. Mm. <laughs> Handsome fucking guy. That's mm. crazy. I remember getting one just like it, me and all my friends. Wanted to be a tough guy. Just like him. Mmm. Look at Paul. He was famous. Oh, my God. He pisses in a bag now. I mean, Jesus Christ fucking kill me, me now. Come on, man. 
You know that nigga had to deal with like Manson mm. Lambs himself. Back to back cats. I'm about to instant cart me some Kit Kats right now. Fuck it with you. You put any thought to our plan? What plan? The dentist, you know, like we said. Where would I lamb it? Um, the safe house. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, man. You need better than I don't know. The time's not right. I'm being watched. Call back later. Mm. Cause I'm headed back to Sarasota soon. See, this nigga June, bro. He's smarter than we be thinking, nigga. I don't know. That was too. <laughs> that was too clear. Like he was just like, yo. Please. Oh no. Want to talk about stand-up guys? Damn. You really had to throw that out there. Sorry, please. <laughs> he, he, I, I, I honestly think he didn't think that one through. He did. He did. For once. Remember when we all rented that house Tony down the not shore? not feeling none of this combo. What's up? What's he going to do? Summer of here? 78. Carlo, Silvio, Frankie Napoli. Place up the beach. Yeah. Sonny Spence from the Bronx rented it. Uh -huh. That's where that hippie kid mysteriously drowned during that party. <laughs> Talking too much. Mm. Uh, you still talking too much. Remember when it's the lowest form of conversation. Mm. Mm. Damn. This nigga just channeled his inner Melfi. Like, that's hella. That's crazy because I feel like I've recently been having conversations about that very same thing. That statement that he made. This fucking Delio construction. It's always okay, been so problem. Doc's the boss. Tell them I personally am upset. Anyway, your taste. That's Patricia. You mind? Wow. Go ahead. This is, this is how they fucking treat you? After you fucking pretty much give them... This is going to be a very interesting that, second half. That man disrespected. Checker is the thinking man. I think we got our answer, though. You're looking for a smack in the fucking mouth? Corrado. Language, please. <laughs> You're lucky she's here, you little prick. Naturally. You're only tough when there's an authority figure nearby so things don't go too far. Mm. Oh, how the mighty have fought. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought he was good. Yeah. I thought he was gonna headbutt him. You, yeah, it looked like he was gonna headbutt him or spit in his face. <laughs> yo, beat. Yo, he beat, beat his own shoe. How you beat your shoes off of yourself? <laughs> 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 hey, nigga. <laughs> Jesus. Is he generally a troublemaker? Nah, he cool. Yeah, he cool. I'm paid. Not to talk to him is all. That's a lovely watch you're wearing. Is that? Mmm, gotcha. You're not supposed to wear that shit to work, you fucking... Why am I the only caregiver being interrogated here? It wouldn't happen to be because of the color of my skin now, would it? Ooh, smart. Thank you for your cooperation. Mm. You go. Pull the race car, nigga. <laughs> Pull that shit, baby. <laughs> but don't What's be wearing a fucking watch that you got from a patient, nigga, to work. Yeah, he wildin'. Don't laugh. That shit, I do this. Nigga. That shit was like a fucking <laughs> look like a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> that shit did look crazy, nigga. Like, <laughs> so the other guy, the one with the um, white hair thingies, what's <laughs> the wings? They got the Wolverines, like your best friend. You say that? I just figured the way he was talking. Honestly, I thought he was your dad at first. Mm. Mm. There was a time when I wished he was. Yeah, they do. They, he, yeah. he used to work for my dad. Yeah. I know. He told me. Mm. What else he tell you? Corrado. Corrado. Huh? It's time for group. You about to spit that G? She's still post last couple of days. I got no pep. That'll change. There's a slight adjustment period. Change that man doses. They mm -hmm. trying to they trying to take this red down. You know that's bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to numb you out. 
because of what you did to the professor. That's sad, that's sad. So our friend in a wheelchair tells us you get regular access to goods. I got a trailer full of power tools coming in later on this month. Factory sealed Black and Deckers and Maquitos. Mm. I can get for you 50 cents on the dollar, mm. 60 grand. Look, you send the truck up north, we send it back loaded. I got a line on air mattresses, pool toys, but I can run a load out with uh, Caritas. It's a French shampoo, $20 a bottle retail. Sorry, Charlie. Mm. All right. Okay. Okay, Tio. Tio. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? That was really a Theo move. That was a, exactly, that was the <laughs> perfect response to that shit. How the hell, son? These niggas are too good. Just take your meds, yo. Real fucking Nazi now, huh? Stop fucking pushing! Ah, that wasn't! Yo, stop bumping dickheads mm. out there! <laughs> Causing distractions to dump the meds. <laughs> Bro, these enabling each other they both <laughs> they bad for each other they get ain't one or the other what he's my friend but jesus what a fucking yakaron yep bup, 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 bup. yakaron what the hell he tells me don't say nothing to nobody he's got prostate i say sure he tells everybody he was always like that <laughs> i fell asleep while he was on the phone i wake up 20 minutes later and he was still going <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping on the phone, pause head ass. I gotta say, uh, it concerns me. Hmm. That's what I said. That comment he made earlier to Sil. Hey, people live alone, they get like that. It's sad. Hmm. Um, man, I fucking. <sighs> yeah, I, mean, I had that feeling. I Bring had that it. feeling this whole episode. Like, why are we. This is, is this police <laughs> last trip? All I know is. Paulie got the area as a stand-up guy. Has he ever really been put to the test? Mmm. Mmm. You know, he had this... This is... painting of me in his house. Oh, shit. Yo, I was just... <laughs> I was just looking at that painting the other day, yo. About that. It pissed me off. I thought it was a fucking joke. But I don't think it was. He loves you, Tom. You're all he's got. <laughs> you... The guys and his image. Hmm. I like that. I love him too. He always did. This shit is crazy right now. It is. Is this really the direction we going? What Paulie doing right now, don't talking. <laughs> I know. People talking to I somebody. Know. He got a whole crowd in front of him. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> A crowd of random <laughs> hotel goers, like. Are you sitting down? Just fucking tell me. Jackie April. What? You heard me. Larry told him J.A. was solely responsible for the death of a certain African-American person. Wow. He covered your ass. All right, uh, Wow. Thanks. Okay. Told you that. that was... <sighs> Man, yeah. exactly. Let the, for real. Oh shit. There he go. There he go, Bradley. <laughs> He's next door. Okay, he just watched the TV. He is lonely as shit, though. Look at him feet up and shit. Like a little baby. Enjoying it. Enjoying some good old TV. No, we ought to do. <laughs> we ought to treat ourselves before we leave. Just thinking maybe we do some sport fishing. Yes, there is. Yeah, what are you kidding? The fucking marlin they got out here? Oh, shit. This is not good. Are you filming? Two fags decide they want a baby. So they jack off in a cup, use the sperm to get a lady friend that ass pregnant. God damn it. That's oh, crazy. my God. Now he's not crying, the nurse says. Just wait till we take the pacifier out of his ass. <laughs> 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 Yo, I've never heard that shit. Ever. Fuck oh, me. no. Exit! Fucking damn it. You should have went to the bathroom. Oh, Jesus Christ on the cross. <sighs> so you've been skipping your... I'm taking my medication. Ask Carmel you don't believe me. 
Jamil. He's been let go. Mm. You can either wear the pens while you wait transfer to another facility, or you can take your medication as prescribed. Damn. Damn. Is it time? Is it time to, to make this dentist appointment now? Yeah, Corrado. Time for your medicine. <laughs> See Bunny in the back there? Got you the feel eagle me? Way in the, way in the start the... iPod. Every day is your iPod, car. Just stop causing a commotion. He gonna take it. Damn. He ain't, he ain't your hero no more. <laughs> he ain't your hero no more. Huh? How you gonna act now? How you gonna start acting now? What'd you do that for? I should piss myself again. But I did the thing. They're muscling me. What do you want me to tell you? Let's get a card game together. They fired Hormel. Jamil? Fuck him. You got me. Maybe tomorrow, kid. I don't know. Is that a life lesson for you, buddy? <laughs> you feel me? Don't go following 70 year old men. <laughs> That's fucking inspiration. Old Ironside. Oh. You're supposed to say ho, Beansy. <laughs> yeah. That nigga Paulie probably thinking like this scene kind of strange. I know we thinking, but I don't know. Maybe this is a good gesture. It could be. Oh. See, I told you what, what happened last time we was in a boat like this. Oh, check the bag. That's the thought niggas gotta have. How could you not? Did you not? Where you been? A bunch mm -hmm. of days. You didn't come to lunch. We're not friends anymore. He's taking his bills. I brought off. you these from Keith. He owed me money. What are you talking to him for? He says we'll have a better chance if we write him at his outfit, Halliburton. My grandpa said my dad liked character. You're very smart, Anthony. <laughs> Called him Anthony. I'm sure you're very good with spelling, too. I don't know what, what, what they're going to do with this, this new yeah. character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the gravy ready. You feel me? This shit looking good. Rigatoni alla poli. Good. <laughs> <laughs> since you're eating it, maybe it should be rigatoni alla toni. <laughs> Are you not hungry? My fucking stomach. <laughs> Look, they both on us. <laughs> Nigga, am I getting poisoned right now? Went down below. I thought I saw a whale. Oh, shit. Let me think of Jenny Sack. <laughs> he keep trying to get that joke. He keep trying to like, Nigga, stop. A joke, Ralph. Made about her. That was some funny shit. No matter what John said. I heard she took an office job. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing? Job insurance. Mm. <laughs> But is Paulie stroking that thing? Do he got that thing on him? Well, you told him, right? Very funny tone, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking holy to now because he didn't fuck other women. It's the broomstick up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. You know, no offense, but you ever had yourself checked for Tourette's? <laughs> what? That's cold. Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> Nigga said, you Seriously. can't control shit, you say. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta take a <laughs> 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 This nigga disrespectful. Come on, you told John about that joke, right? Why are you pressing this so hard, boy? What the hell is this about, man? Come on, man. What we doing here, man? <laughs> wow. This shit everywhere, bro. Wow. This Hatchets, is... machetes, hammers, bats. Think fast. Jesus, no. Fuck that hurt. All right. <clears throat> we survived. <sighs> Bully for real? He really is the bully now. Mountain mama, take me home. <laughs> he about to lose it, nigga. Yeah, he about to snap. He about to start breaking. He about to hit him with the. 
Ooh. Oh. Rock to shit. Oh, Damn. shit. That, that. Damn. Oh, they got their quick one. Corrado <laughs> did with threw apple juice in the nigga face. That man really lost his gangster hero and started raging out because of it. Seems a little crazy. What does it take to get something to eat? I know, right? I'm about to say, who there? Ain't nobody. Who Paulie live with? What the wow. <laughs> When my time comes, tell me. Will I stand up? Mmm. <sighs> These niggas be having the best dream sequences, bro. That nigga said, nah, not today. Not, you feel me? Not today. I'm finna today. get back how my picture was. Back to That's the 60s with it. Sonoma. From Pauly Paul. survived. He survived that episode. The Electra semi-automatic chrome espresso machine. God, what is wrong with that man? What's wrong with him? Nothing. It's guys like him that allows our whole lifestyle here. <laughs> That's a nice dog. He trying to stay relevant, nigga. He know. He know what that damn boat trip was about. All right, dog getting whacked. By Phil himself? It gotta be. Look, this nigga just left. Oh! Mm. Damn. That shot to the eye, though. Yeah, the moment they brought Doc back in the episode, I'm like, he's done. Wow. Buddy just left them like, I ain't part of your team. Tone, you see this shit? Skip. Hey. Looks like Phil's the main guinea over there now, huh? Anyway, we're at Maxwell's plum. So Phil's back on it? Yep. Now we know exactly what he meant in his yep. last comment. Yep, yep. I told you thinking about that, bro. <laughs> this is what's up. Pet day. Why is there so much? Yeah, uh, with the snaggle, snaggle too. Like. <laughs> you see, <laughs> see this shit? Damn, sprank that man wrist and all that. Damn, they didn't clean that nigga up. They did. Yeah, scores. That shit look like it's dried up blood. Don't don't fade out like this. Wow, look at his face. Though. You feel me? Don't fade out like that. <sighs> don't have us thinking about fucking June like that. I there we have it season 15 right season 6 episode 15 in the books man you remember when Tony used to nah <laughs> this episode was it, it was different man I, I, I didn't know what to expect going in but um, just kind of seeing uh, juniors just life now is kind of it's kind of crazy, man. To see that this man is is kind of there, but losing it, but there and losing it. I could never really tell where he's where he's at mentally, but it seems like he's he's been defeated by the by the end of this episode. Yeah. So yeah, man. I thought the episode was was pretty good. How about you, Formal? How you felt about it? Remember when Soprano episodes were actually good? And now I'm just like, <laughs> I know I'm gonna you catch some shit joke. for that. I was gonna say that joke, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, that boy was scared. I was scared. It was just, nah. I, 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 it is. <laughs> it's a pretty. It's, it's a decent episode. Yeah, it's decent. Yeah, it's decent. It's, decent. it's a decent episode. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do, I do like what they got over there on the New York side, but it's, it's also like, damn, like what, like it, I don't know, Brad, like. I just feel like, and I know, I, I feel like I always feel like this towards the end of shows, but I'm like, bro, there, there needs to be another season because there's so much for them to still kind of close up, especially with the type of shit that they doing. But then they always wrap shit up the right way anyway. So I know that's just me getting in my head. But the fact that NYC still has a power vacuum going on and shit, I'm just like, dang, son. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tony still got this active Rico case that, they make movements behind the scenes so it's like we never really know like how close they are to really nailing his ass um 
So it's just kind of crazy, like thinking about it. <clears throat> and then this episode also kind of leaned heavily into June and and uh, and his little counterpart and whatever issues they're going through and mental health and shit like that, which I'm just not very knowledgeable on. So I try to I try to stay along with it, but I don't really know what the hell was going on with the with the little Asian dude. Like I don't think it was obsessive or some shit. I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, so, but yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It was a good episode. Yeah, man. Obviously, we started the episode with uh, the feds digging up a body and all that and, and having Tony and Paulie to pretty much get out of town to make sure that shit doesn't, uh, you know, surprise them. Mm-hmm. So that's how we started the episode. And you're right, man. Like, uh, how close are they really to, to Tony? Because it seems like they're getting closer and closer, obviously, with this fine. It could be just another uh, another bamboozle by the, the FBI, like kind of like what happened the other episode where um, when they went to, to, to go see Bobby, you remember? Uh, damn, what the fuck? Um, the gun charge, remember? The gun charge, they, uh, they end up saying, they end up dropping the, the gun charge, but really the feds just added it on to the RICO. I'm guessing mm-hmm. that's what they did here with the body, you know? They're trying to make it seem like nothing is really happening, but it's really happening all in the background. So, I don't know, man. I I don't know. I think they're good on the body, though, because they got word from 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 the inside. The I gun think charge. That's all bullshit. Nigga, they got internal fucking, like, intel. Nigga, they got niggas on the inside that actually know shit, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Like the gun charge, that shit made sense because that was the PD. That was local PD trying to come up, and the feds blocked that shit. Like, no, nigga, you ain't about to fuck up our fucking yeah, 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 Rico yeah, yeah, case. Yeah. Like, so yeah. that shit made sense. But I think th- I think they legit might have got away with this body. I think they they literally just threw that shit in there as a way to to catapult the episode with Paulie and Tony. With Paul, yeah, with Paulie okay. and Tony going on this trip and and having the dialogue that they ended up having, and Tony feeling the way he's ended up feeling about like i, mean, yeah, let's I don't get, think let's get into it i mean that, that was basically the episode you feel me um i i know tony feels like paulie is talkative which he is but one thing i i don't see paulie doing is uh talking to the feds at all about mm-hmm. any of this um obviously he's just you know just a talkative person but one thing I definitely loved about the the episode was the the conversation between Beansy and uh, Tony about Paulie, about how he you know he basically lives his life. He's a loner, you know. He doesn't really have anybody. The only people he really have are the you know the boys. So I kind of felt that, and uh, to be honest, I think that's what really saved them at the end of the day. Like that conversation between him and Beansy. What you think? You think that was a conversation that saved them? I don't know. I don't know, man. Cause I don't even. I don't even know. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> it's bro. I don't even know, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> one more time. I was I about to know. say it again too. Nigga, every time I try to say something else, that comes out, nigga. Like, cause I'm like, bro, like, did it really escalate to that? Like, or are we tripping? Like. Cause I really felt like Tony was ready to body this nigga this episode. But when has Tony ever been that quick to want to take somebody's life, especially someone that close to him, like Paulie, nigga? Like Paulie's hella close to Tony, bro. No matter how grimy Paulie be doing shit like that, I still feel like that'll be quite the kill for Tony to to do on his own, like at that. So it's just like. Is that really what was about to happen? Like, did did that conversation save him? I don't fucking know. Bro. Well, the one thing that Tony kept bringing up was the whole who's who who told Johnny the the joke. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So I don't. I, I'll try to think too. I'm just like man. He was trying to test that man loyalty. Like he was, and trying to see how much this nigga really be willing to say. Like, but but again, it's like. Tony has never made a decision that quick to kill somebody that close to him. That like literally this would have all happened in one episode. He's mm-hmm. never like think about how long he knew about Puss, nigga. That shit took like 
three, four episodes, five episodes to finally wrap up, nigga. Maybe this is just the, the beginning. Maybe though. That's 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 the thing. Maybe maybe, maybe. this is the beginning maybe. of the downfall. Is... Like the, he didn't answer the question the way I wanted him to, because uh-huh. we all know it was you, Paulie. And then uh, I don't know. Maybe this is the beginning of Paulie's downfall. I'm I'm gonna say that this isn't. I think this is the definitive. Paulie has escaped death. Mm. Um, what does that mean for him in the future? I really don't know. Is he gonna get wrapped up in? rest or is he just gonna be alone for the rest of his life you feel me because it, it looked like he want to yeah. turn up though he he went home started doing bicep <laughs> curls i'm just saying bro they we keep getting we keep getting these themes that they keep you know following along and and this next theme is these old niggas ain't dying nigga. <laughs> That's like nice. unless it's sickness these niggas ain't getting taken out by the younger crowd nigga. you see what phil doing so I don't know. I think Paulie trying to turn up. I think Paulie trying to become a better earner. And, yeah, but, may, but but to your point, maybe he does get caught up trying to be a better earner and, mm. and gets locked up or some shit like that. Like trying to, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yeah, it's 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 tough. It's <laughs> tough to 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 think about what they what they were trying to achieve here with uh when it comes to Paulie because it's it, it did seem just very like way too fast for him to come to that conclusion. Um, but maybe, but this is what I'm thinking, right? Maybe Mm -hmm. Tony thought about it for a second, but you know how directors work. They trying to make us seem like he was trying to kill him, but he really wasn't like, maybe that's the whole thing, but I don't know. It's funny. You blame the directors because I was thinking something similar. I was thinking that's probably why they coupled that journey with the June journey. Because this mm. episode had me feeling crazy as fuck, nigga. So like, <laughs> they they had me feeling like June watching Tony and Paulie shit, basically, nigga. Like I'm just like, <laughs> like what the fuck is happening? Like, is this really? Am I here right now? Am I sane, bro? Like, yeah. So it's funny you say that because I'm thinking that maybe that's what it was. They was just really. It ain't maybe we maybe we just making it way more deeper than what that, this shit really was supposed to be just now. So I don't know. Yeah, because I was going to say it in the very beginning of the episode, but I didn't because I didn't want to put that juju out there. But then it ended up being what, it, what, what I was thinking about in the beginning. I was like, is this going to be... Oh, when he made the call to Sill? <clears throat> uh, before that, like when, mm. when they was just started the trip and they were about to you know head out and shit. I'm just like, is this going to be Paulie's mm. like, final trip like you see know i wasn't like, even there until the sill conversation because honestly i just figured it was a typical we got to get out of dodge while mm. you know while this shit happens but that's yeah. the moment he called sill and, and said what he said to sill that's when i was just like uh-oh nah you definitely was on but i was just like i was just i just had that thought because it's just like i said this is the last few episodes we never know where they're gonna go and where they're gonna right. take it right. so you know immediately i thought of this could be it. And but then the boat ride was was Nigga. For sure for sure. Nigga. When Tony said, yo, let's go take a little boat ride. That's Nigga. what I was like. And then they showed the flashback of pussy shit. I yep. was like, oh my God. That's another this. thing that they did really well with, you know, bringing back up pussy and, and stuff like that. I thought those were great little uh little sprinkles throughout the mm-hmm. episode. You know, the nightmare scene and then the boat scene. And, mm-hmm. <sighs> Yeah, see, this I mean, one of them episodes we just got to start talking about, nigga. We niggas done changed their tune, nigga. <laughs> niggas was driving, we was like, all right, there we have it. Now we like, yeah, nigga, this episode was good at puss and puts and shit. Like, <laughs> nah, it, they had some things in here that were good, but at the same time, when you look at Sopranos as a whole, it's you know, it's it's an all right episode. You it's know the cruise mean? control episode. Like yeah, it I is. said, it's, it is. it's the like it's still fun, but we on we on cruise control right now, like. Cause we did season six so far has been like banger, 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 banger. Mm-hmm. They had to they had to slow it down a little you, bit. You, you want to know what's crazy? That I just realized, like we, like we're kind of voting for Paulie not to die, but the man kind of deserves it to be honest. He do, <laughs> like, he do. He deserves to, to get at it. To be, Fresh. he 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 legit killed the old lady and, and took all her money. Like that's kind of yeah, crazy. He deserved to die. He deserves uh, to die by old ladies, though, not by that's Tony. Facts, like, that's facts. Be, I, like, hope, I hope it's the lady that was driving and 
season one that hit the uh no damn i'm thinking about livia hitting that old lady forget about it forget about it nah forget let's not forget about it hopefully it's <clears throat> nah damn forget about it again she got dead it she's the one who was driving damn it I'm yeah. trying to get an old lady to run this fan over. Just like. a rando. Just this has got to be a rando. Like. Um, yeah. Uh, Polly, Polly situation crazy. Obviously, and and then the other side of this episode was was June's journey, which is so confusing to watch this man work, bro. I, mind you, I love watching June work, um, but it's just so confusing. I never know when he's really there and when he's lost or i agree it's it's so well done like he is really good at uh acting because I agree. man <laughs> i agree what a performance i've taken the side that he's the ultimate player from the himalayas like <laughs> i know but i know nigga where he be pissing on himself and shit i'm just like fuck, fuck. i'll be standing stand strong in my position though like nah nigga it's, it's, all, it's all an act it's all an act <laughs> Cause it's like, nigga, no, no. I be feeling like, I be feeling like this nigga be playing. And then like, as he's playing, like, I feel like he, I feel like he momentarily be controlling his bullshit, but then he loses himself. <laughs> like, it's like, like his first act of bullshit is on him. But then mm. after that, like, that's what also flips the switch off, nigga, like him playing <laughs> stupid also turns the switch too stupid nigga like <laughs> that's how he be making me feel like because i'd be like wait what nigga hold up did he do that on purpose no nope he's gone yep okay <laughs> there it is oh man like, so i don't know what's up with that man so. I, I i i love the um the the card game i thought the card game oh, was dope that was beautiful man. yeah i thought that was just a nice you know uh just a moment for june because it's something that's like a big thing in the mafia, you know, mafia world. The the car games are like something special. They you know they get a lot of people come in and they make a good amount of money there. So mm-hmm. for for June to kind of replicate that inside the mental asylum place, it's a uh, it was nice. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I Obviously, that's what sparked everything to kind of go downhill because. Of, but see, that's counterproductive to his. I feel like that's counterproductive to his rehabilitation. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, isn't, 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 aren't they supposed to be trying to help him maintain his memories and stuff like that? So if he... remember the memories? I'm just saying, though. (laughs) You disrupting this man's rehabilitation. You disrupting his memories. He remembers that he used to play card games and shit back in the day, like... Okay, I see where you're going with this. (laughs) You see what I'm saying, nigga? You need to be someone's lawyer. Stop it. They it's fucking man. my man's up. Like, you that's not right. lawyer, because uh, for a second day I was with you, then I'm just like, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> they fucking my man's up, bro. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that. Man, but yeah, that, I do think that was a dope, like, and it's cool, too, that they, they brought back the Jamil and shit, because mm-hmm. I called it, bro. I was like, yeah. uh-oh, that hand washes the other shit. So I like how they actually build. I like how they build on June's story. Like, even though... Like, I feel like he's a character that you could easily just be like, we don't ever have to kind of see him again. Like, we know where he ended. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I really do kind of like they, that they always bring him back. Me he's too. a treasure, man. He's a treasure on screen, dude. It just goes to show you the different uh, endings that some of these bosses have. Like, it, it, could, mm. go, it, it could stem from um, them dying. It could stem from them getting locked up, having cancer. Mm-hmm. And this is mm-hmm. just one of the other ways that they can end up going. And um, I, I, I enjoy it as well. I love it. I think June is, like I said, he's a master at work. I love, I love uh, the way he portrays June. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. Man. It's beautiful to watch. But it was very sad to see the ending, the conclusion of what happened there with yeah. uh, his, his Goomba. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? He had a little... He had a little ride or die. I, I I don't know what to to real really what to think about Buddy. Mm-hmm. Like obviously he had uh, anger issues. Uh, I'm guessing resentment to his mom and a whole bunch of other shit. But um, 
Yeah. I guess him seeing the man that he idolized uh, fall in line is 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 the the last you know straw that he could take, and that, mm-hmm. that basically. But does this leave June like? This is it for June. Like this is it. Like he he's gonna start taking the pills that leave him drowsy and sleepy. He 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 looked crazy. That visual yeah. at the end. Yeah, I hated that shit. That looked like was some space ghost. It looked like you know those crazy over exaggerated drawings that we ha- they be having. That's oh, what like it. how they hit him with the court. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had a, he had his court face. Yeah, on. exactly, bro. That shit looked crazy, but. <laughs> I don't know if they if they're ever gonna bring them back, but I think uh, if they don't, it's just damn, it's a fucking sad ending for June. Personally, I'm enjoying the theme of of these old niggas going out on their swords kind of shit. Mm. So if June decides to break out, okay, I would love it. that. Like, yeah, that's I would love it? that because okay. I I just been feeling that lately. Like the way Phil's been acting, like he's like, fuck it, I'm not gonna lay over no more. Freaking Pauly this episode pulls out the weights like fuck it nigga I gotta get back to to being over you know what I'm saying if it's my time am I gonna go outstanding you know what I'm saying like so mm-hmm. I'm like let's okay. see that with June like but Ooh. it's just his mental health is such a blocker bro so I would at least like to see him attempt to escape um you know make that dentist appointment I don't know if that's just too late now because buddy did say he gotta go but I don't know if he could do that with somebody else like yeah but, um but yeah yeah, man. I, I hated seeing him. I hated seeing him like that. And also, yeah, I don't have much to say about the whole June Tao shit, neither. Fucking, I don't know what that was about. I'm, yeah, like I said, I don't got any knowledge about mental health and shit like that, so I don't know. He mm-hmm. seemed like he was just obsessive, but I guess this I guess this might help him out, though, right? He sees that his June really falls in line, so that helps him get better because he won't idolize a gangster anymore. Because it made it, because the way, at least the way his mom made it seem to me was like he could be all right if he was following the right people. Mm. Like it seems like he got admitted probably because he, you know, went down the wrong route or followed the wrong people, so started doing the wrong shit. Because even she said the doctor said he became more aggressive when he started hanging out with June. So <clears throat> if he, you know, I don't know if maybe he could, you know, no longer hang out with June because June is, you know, doing what he's doing and then he gets better and we just never even see his ass again. Like, I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with that character, basically. I think he's know. gone. I think they, he's in another facility for sure. Yeah, something, right? Like, Especially he, after the way June looked after that. So, man. Yeah. Pummeled his ass. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty much it for me, man, for, for this episode. You know? I'm good too. Yeah. Thought it was decent, enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. So uh I say that's cool. Um, I'm actually get this at eight five because even though it was even though I'm gonna call it the our cruise control episode, there was a lot of really good dialogue. Um a couple of it we definitely miss, you know, we we be having our fun. But while I edit, I'm gonna catch all of it again anyways. Um but yeah, I, I definitely want to give it an eight five because I think the dialogue was just very good and strong in this episode like that's that's pretty much what carried it um so yeah a5 for me uh i'm gonna completely agree a5 is a perfect score for this episode uh i can't agree more the dialogue definitely hit um love the conversation between beansy and tony mm-hmm. and just um yeah i'm i'm even more worried now than i've ever been about these characters after this Christ. episode <laughs> now, like, that, now that I think about Because last episode had us feeling ominous about Chris yep. This one got us feeling ominous about Paulie They yes. didn't even give us a break from Chris Like they like nah nigga Here another ominous moment lined up for y'all nigga. Exactly <laughs> So it's just like I'm I'm really <laughs> concerned going into these last However many episodes we have left Because mm-hmm. man Tony just having those thoughts of possibly uh, body and Paulie is is kind of disturbing, uh, to say the least. Cause they've been it friends do make for all sense, the- though. Like now, like now that like, cause really think about it, bro. Towards like as someone in a position as Tony, cause even on the f- other side, right in New York, they went through like three or four bosses. All while Tony was still just the boss. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah, we had the little shit with June and shit, but like. 
niggas knew what's up. Like Tony's been yep. boss since like season two. Mm. So like someone who's been in his position for as long as he's been while watching rats, you know, just families turn on each other or friends turn on each other, having to kill some of his own. Like he's probably at that point in his life where it's the paranoia coming in. Like he can't trust nobody, nigga. Like even my wife and kids type shit. I don't think he's at that level of wife and kids yet, but I think like it's starting to get there with all his friends and shit. Like, so, mm. <laughs> I'm just saying he's trying to survive, basically. <laughs> uh, I get it, <clears throat> but is this man worth surviving? Worth it? Yeah, is he worth it? <laughs> of course not. Of they course all toxic not. at the end of the day. That's they all gangsters. Except, except Sil. Sil's like the only cool one. He's still a he, gangster. He is a gangster. That dude that got bodied in the kitchen, he deserved it. Right? He killed Adriana, nigga. <laughs> I mean, it had to be done. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be done. But... <laughs> it had to be done. <laughs> That's cool. Sil get the pass. Sil's the only one that get the pass for me. Um, but yeah, man, can't wait to see where they go from here. Fingers crossed from now on that, uh, none of the team members get body by Tony. Cause, uh, Tony seems to be not Tony anymore, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, 8.5 from both your hosts who love Soprano the most. Okay. You still rock with us this long, man. Listen, we appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thanks for tuning in. If y'all haven't already, man, like the video. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this episode. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. Y'all know the goal. If you're into the full-length reactions, Patreon link is in the description down below. FWR is out. Peace. <laughs>